success stories. At this point, we're going to call up Naranjan and John. speech is gone, so I'm going to wing it. <laughs> so I've known Jonathan almost 20 years here at Just Me, and I've known Naranjan about two years. So when Debbie Hurwitz found uh, Red Mango as a tea site for us, what we call tea sites, or training sites, the first people who came to thought were these two guys, because my knowledge of both of them, if they both came to our program, they were like, you know, the shy guys, but then as years grew past, they opened up, and they both were the same, same exact way. When I first met John, he didn't talk much, he didn't want to socialize or be with the crowd, and now you can't get him to stop talking. The same with Naranjan. Uh, you know, I see him walking down the street, he talks to me more, he joked about Family Feud the other day. <laughs> yeah, we're at Access Link. About traveling. He said the guy felt like he was on a family feud when he was asking him all those questions. <laughs> so, yeah, from travel training. So these guys, they both work at Red Mango, and the store owner, Hal, he's here, Mr. Hal Wu. Uh, so they've been here for about a year now. Very successful. These guys, they help prepare the store, they clean it up, the yoga machines before the store opens, and that's why they were both fitted to receive these awards. Hal? Thank you. That's John and Naranjan. Uh, we, we feel actually very lucky to have them at our store for almost a year. Uh, we, at the beginning, it was a little difficult for us to know us, and then uh, we worked everything out. Uh, let me tell you a story here, I mean, not really a story. If I were, by now, if I were asked my employees to dig out a tree at my place, they would ask me, hey boss, I think we need a military tank, we need chain straps, we need to uh, pull that thing out, we probably need a bulldozer, and maybe a dump truck to put you know, dirt in there and fix it. And I said, okay, with this guys, here are two shovels, get it out. You know, they got the great patience, they got good persistence, and with a little practice, I think they are doing a very good job at Red Mango. Getting the things ready, get the store cleaned up, you know, again, John and Naranjit, I really thank you guys for getting store clean. And I thank Jesby House very much for bringing us these two awesome gentlemen. And uh, I think they are, you know, doing a very good job. And uh, I thank you all. Uh, thank you all for... Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I, um, he's got a few words he's going to say. Do you have anything, John? I really enjoy working at Red Mango. Thank you. It was really nice uh, for us to get uh, honored for this much good with us one year. Thank you.
we have, I know everyone's ready to start dancing, so hold on, we have two more things to give out. These are, these are real important. Uh, the next person I have also known for uh, about 20 years. Uh, she's going a long way here, uh, but you're going to hear her story. Heather Schwann, please come up. Heather Schwamm. I started Just Be in 1999. I was very shy and I didn't want to socialize much with the other clients. I graduated Beacon College in Florida with a bachelor's in human services. I originally wanted to be a social worker because I wanted to make people feel good about themselves. But as you all know, that quickly changed. Um, I met Robert Slater in 1999 at my first job. There was an enclave called Spur to Action. I met friends and I slowly over time became more expressive. Robert Slater became a really important part of my journey to independence. He was my job coach for almost 19 years and now I don't need a job coach anymore, but I still wanted to honor him for his years of service and commitment. Thank you. working at Gap Kids. Then I got the encouragement from Julia and Sierra to go to cosmetology school. School took several years due to my epilepsy, but I finally graduated in 2007 and outgrew my epilepsy as well. Over the next several years, I worked both retail and salon jobs, sometimes holding down two jobs at once. And in 2011, I met Sherry. Sherry was wonderful. She became my new case manager and therapist. And, and she took me, she was very encouraging, and she helped me find my tutor, Deborah, um, to, to practice for state board. I studied for six months straight, and on November 30th, 2011, I passed on my late Poppy's birthday. Sherry is no longer my case manager, but I still work with her, and I wanted to acknowledge her for the last seven years. Thank you, Sherry. In 2011, I got engaged to my husband, now Sean, and I got married in 2013. Sean has been my rock and my motivation to become more independent. As I moved from salon to salon, I really wanted to find a salon that felt like home, but none of them really did. I struggled because when I got licensed, nobody really wanted to mentor someone so new. I came to Super Preps in 2015. There I met Christina. Christina's not your typical manager. She was patient and caring, and no matter what, she never stopped believing in me, even when I stopped believing in myself. So, after hard work and constant repetition, I went from a lot of redos to becoming one of the top requested stylists in all of Livingston. I also became a top seller of product, and I've just been recently asked by the owner of my brain shop. Ooh, technical difficulties, please stand by. No, um, and I've just recently been asked by the owner of my franchise to manage the social media for Supercuts and Livingston. We have, a, we now have their own, or our own specific Supercuts Livingston Facebook page, so please press like and support me. I work really hard and can't believe how far I've come. I have an amazing circle of friends that I love and that are more like family. I have an awesome set of parents and a sister and a husband that are very supportive of me. And I have a great career that I can use my bachelor's and make people feel beautiful on the outside as well as the in. Jespi has been a wonderful place for me. Jespi is, um, for those who know me, I'm an avid knitter and it is just my knitting group. 
and taking more advanced classes outside. So thank you, Sandy and Marie, for that as well. And I want to say thank you for those who've been on my 19-year journey. Thank you. companies and other important organizations in the New Jersey and New York area as well as uh, a few other spots in the Northeast. I uh, got my job with the help of Debbie Hurwitz and Michelle Rangersantz who are two of the workers in Chesby House's Work Readiness and Employment Engagement Departments. When I started out at Genova Burns, I uh, worked in office services, in other words the mail room. Uh, doing tasks like sorting, distributing, and collecting the mail, scanning legal documents for the secretaries of lawyers, and preparing binders for lawyers. Within a, a few weeks from there, I was elevated to become the firm's marketing and business development assistant, and from there I've been doing a whole lot of very in interesting tasks for Genova Burns. My most important tasks have included, one, helping the firm sponsor events by outside organizations by inviting attorneys to attend the events and um, doing advertisements on the InDesign computer program and sending those advertisements to the organizations for them to put in their program booklets. Second, writing, rewriting, editing, and proofreading material on the firm's website which has included employee biographies, news alerts about the accomplishments of attorneys, and practice group descriptions. Three, composing promotional brochures that mention attorneys and uh, Genova Burns practice groups on InDesign, and uh, sending those brochures to attorneys for them to give to their prospective clients. And uh, four, uh, working on documents that respond to requests for qualifications and requests for proposals from cities, counties, and townships for the purpose of helping Genova Burns get work from those areas. Um, I uh, participate in this by doing proofreading of all of the, the documents, uh, doing attachments on the computer uh, to uh, uh, attach to those documents, and also I uh, compose some of the documents myself. So far, I've been getting great kudos from the people in the firm, including my marketing supervisors, a number of attorneys, and of the Human Resources Director, who all say that I do an excellent job, a great job, and a really good job. The people there are very nice, friendly, and helpful, and more than willing and eager to teach. And I have a Jesby job coach, Courtney Crandall, who comes in periodically to uh, give me reassurance and address whatever concerns and questions I have, and relate to me feedback from people in the firm. Genova Burns is a terrific organization to work for. I strongly believe in the organization's mission of representing their clients at the highest standard of excellence, providing a wide range of expertise and practice areas uh, to their clients while serving to them in a personal and relationship-oriented manner, and providing excellent communication and service to their clients. 
And last but not least, I have a very easy commute to get to Genova Burns. I just hop on the train in South Orange and take it to the North Broad Street Station, and from there, walk a couple blocks to, to the firm. I want to thank a number of people who have been very instrumental in helping me become very successful in my job at Genova Burns. First, I want to thank uh, the uh, staff at Genova Burns, especially Angelo Genova, the firm's chairman, for hiring me and promoting me quickly and uh, allowing me to use my wide variety of skills to help Genova Burns by helping the marketing departments uh, promote the firm to the public. Second, I want to thank the staff at the Jesby House Work Readiness and Engagements, the Employee Engagement or the Department, rather, for helping me get the job, and especially Courtney Crandall, my job coach, for all the help and support. And uh, third, I want to thank my brother, Andrew Barron, who has given me a lot of help and support throughout the years in my career and my life um, after both my parents died. I'm very proud to be part of the Genova Burns Law Firm. I hope to remain with the law firm and uh, look forward to remaining with the law firm for a very, very long time to come. And I very much appreciate their sponsoring this event by Jesby House today and having Jesby House as a client. Now, uh, a few words from Rebecca Malfried, who is one of the attorneys in the firm. Thank you, Roger. As Roger said, my name is Rebecca Freed. I'm an attorney at the firm, and the firm could not be more, could not be luckier to have Roger with us. You know, he said that he's gotten a lot of kudos. I can tell you that is absolutely true. Um, he did start in office services, and within a very short time, it was very clear that Roger wanted to do more and was very capable of doing more. I also happen to work with the marketing department and I know that our ads have never looked better. Our list of sponsorships and the spreadsheet has never been more organized. Roger manages to get attorneys to attend events in record numbers and he's very persistent to make sure that tables are filled. And I don't think anybody from at the firm, from attorneys to administrative staff, is better at proofreading than Roger is. He will find typos and documents that probably were there for 20 years that nobody ever noticed. Roger is always friendly and warm, interacts a lot with the staff, asks a lot of questions, and really wants to understand what he's doing. And really, we are the ones who are very fortunate to have Roger working with us at Genova Burns. So thank you.